With many of today's DSLRs capturing HD video as seamlessly as they capture still images, it's important that we don't ask photographers to learn a new workflow. Lightroom 4 really ratchets up the video support so that you can not only manage your files, but you can seamlessly view them within the application. You can actually start to do some pretty nice video edits as well. If we look at this clip, it definitely starts a little bit too early and ends a little bit too late. So what I can do is set the in and out point and trim the beginning and end to get just the length of the clip that I want. The other thing I can do is I remember in this one specific video clip, there was a great moment that I wanted to basically pull the still image out of the video clip. And so Lightroom 4 allows you to go ahead and select an option here to capture a frame. And you can capture that frame directly from the video file. And it's a JPEG now that will live next to the video. But I think one of the most important things for working with still images and video is achieving a equal look between your video and your still images. Lightroom 4 gives you the ability to manage the exposure, contrast, vibrance, uh, and many other settings for video files via the Quick Develop panel. And now, I've got a nice, rich-looking video that will play very well next to my still images. And then it's just as easy as sharing it by dragging and dropping to Flickr or Facebook or exporting to a popular high-def format. We've addressed the fact that in today's world of digital imaging, you need a single workflow for both your still images and your video assets.